Our goal is to, uh, is to provide the state-of-the-art expert care in taking care of the patients. But the second goal of the center is to try to make the uh, workup and the treatment of the patient as seamless uh, and as compassionate as we can. Uh, and that, what I mean by that is try to expedite how we work patients up because this is a time of, um, of great angst for the patient and their family. Uh, each test brings about more anxiety. Uh, and so what we try to do is to have patients seen very promptly. So as soon as we get notified of a patient that may have a potential uh, problem with the pancreas, in particular a pancreatic cancer, uh, patients are um, uh, able to get uh, a consultation, uh, certainly within several days or a couple of days from a phone call. A nurse navigator will help coordinate all of these uh, required diagnostic and therapeutic interventions for the patient in hopefully a, a seamless and prompt fashion, which we've been quite good at. And we have these navigators both in, both in the outpatient setting and in the inpatient setting, because I think the most important part of the pancreatic center is communication and allowing for effective communication among physicians and allied health professionals. And I think we do that quite well. When a patient comes in, we do a diagnostic workup, which is quite thorough. We do that in a prompt fashion. We use our nurse navigators to work us through the system so that patients and their families are getting care, prompt treatment. We have a nutritionist. We have a genetic counselor for the family because there's always questions about, am I at risk now that my family member has the disease? And uh, so that's an important part of what we offer. And we have, of course, so, psycho psychosocial support. We have a social worker that's available um, 24 hours a day uh, to help with uh, dealing with problems that develop uh, when you're undergoing this kind of treatment uh, and, and uh, uh, for pancreatic cancer, for instance. The beauty of the PANCAS program at New York Presbyterian is to be able to work with dedicated surgeons that understand the need to be part of a big team and have a bigger picture of all those patients. When we get a consult of a patient that has severe pancreatitis with a necrotic area, I think the very first step is take a step back and make sure we have adequate imaging. Enhanced imaging such as CT with very thin cut of the pancreas and injection of contrast allow us to see which part of the pancreas is necrotic, therefore labeled as dead. But in reality, if you take those patients and you give them enteral feeding and you wait a few months, you come back, you make an injection of contrast and the area that was labeled to be dead is now uh, still viable. This confirms how important it is to take a step back and not jump in into unnecessary surgery. And this is the, the team approach, having the appropriate imaging from our radiologists, the appropriate thinking from our surgeon, the appropriate skill from our endoscopist to offer enteral feeding, endoscopic drainage, ERCP to seal disruption, biliary stent to decompress the bowel duct, pancreatic stent to drain pancreatic structure, and endoscopic ultrasound to make sure that there's no cancer hidden behind this inflammation with a very targeted fine needle aspiration. Allow us as a team to offer the best approach to those patients. The Pancreas Center here at Weill Cornell is a uh, multidisciplinary approach to treating uh, uh, all the associated diseases of the pancreas. The pancreas is a kind of a unique organ. It's not very big, but it has some very important functions in the body. Namely, it controls insulin, and insulin is important because that maintains our blood sugar levels. And everyone knows when our blood sugar levels go bad, it really affects a lot of other areas in our body and is responsible for the whole idea behind diabetes. So when that portion of the pancreas doesn't function well, namely what's called the insulin-producing cells, um, glucose isn't controlled, and when glucose isn't controlled in the body, it leads to heart disease, kidney failure, uh, a lot of vascular complications. So in total, the pancreas plays a really important role in, um, in how we maintain our bodies.